Just days after the crash of Flight 93, the Pittsburgh Steelers were here, meeting the families and honoring the heroes. And tonight they are looking back, from Steeler coach Bill Cower to Hall of Famer Jerome Bettis, how they say the sacrifice of the heroes of Flight 93 and their families left a lasting impression. The rushing waterfalls and reflecting pools at Ground Zero in New York City. A place of solace, a tribute to heroes, including those on board Flight 93. A white rose marking every birthday of every victim. This is the National 9-11 Memorial and Museum in Lower Manhattan, where the Twin Towers once stood. It is here where all the souls who were lost that fateful day are remembered. Former Pittsburgh Steeler coach Bill Cower led his team to Somerset County 15 years ago to stand shoulder to shoulder with the families of the victims of Flight 93. He said it is important that those heroes are also honored here. That's the ultimate sacrifice. That was heroic. That was amazing. And the least thing we could do was to go up there and tell those, tell those families, you know what, your members that you lost were heroes. They saved our country. Cower looks fondly on how his team attended the candlelight memorial three days after the plane went down, embracing victims' families. What they did was they were the first ones that gave the ultimate sacrifice. They were the first ones to be able to take over a plane, recognize and in doing so that they were giving up their own lives. And how can you not but respect that? To hear about the heroics, uh, that was, you know, that was chilling. Steeler Hall of Famer Jerome Bettis says he and his teammates received a somber dose of reality when they met with the families of Flight 93. Our lives have been forever changed uh, by those events. And so you carry that, that scar with you for life. And there's, there's nothing, it's going to always be, you know, September 11th, where were you? Do you remember? That's always going to be with you. And that's something that um, I, I definitely remember. Holding hands and praying with strangers who welcomed their embrace during that memorial all season long and beyond. So it was very a touching year. You know, I have a picture up in my home where I have a picture and I wore the red, white, and blue nose breathe right. And it was something that I would never forget for the rest of my life. Ward's old coach, who now lives in New York City, says he will never forget. He recalls his emotional connection to the families every time he looks into these waters at the foot of the Freedom Tower. Heroes. I see, I see a bunch of guys who sacrificed their lives, who took over Flight 93. Four men, as you talked about, that were leaders and athletes and gave the ultimate sacrifice. And what I saw is what they did for our country. And I think they, they showed and still kind of led the way for galvanizing the country about talking about perspective and, and um, having a sense of purpose. And they, 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 they led the way in my mind, to uh, bringing this country a lot closer. Next on Chronicle, a new generation learning about the men and women aboard Flight 93. They're heroes. They're so brave. What they did just, I mean, they risked their lives so that millions of people weren't killed. How they're discovering the history of America's darkest day and the moment we fought back. Next on Chronicle.